Hello guys, welcome to Human Resource Machine Year 31, String Reverse. Obviously this has got something to do with strings. Okay, for each zero terminated string in the inbox, reverse it and put the result in the outbox and repeat. So, a zero terminated string as we know is a series of letters or numbers and as soon as we get to a zero it finishes and we've got to put it in the outbox. Um, okay. Need an inbox. We are going to copy it to. We will copy it to that. But no, wait. Yeah, we can copy it. Was that one? I uh, don't think we're going to need that zero, but I could... Yes, we are. Hold on. Hold on. Start again. Inbox, we are going to copy to there, because that's where the zero is, but it needs to be the one in the brackets, like that. So it's going to copy it straight onto that one. We're going to need a bump minus of that. We're going to need to copy from that, but that again is the bracketed one. We will need to outbox, but hold on, because we've got a jump if zero. So if it's a zero in the inbox, we need to skip straight to bump minus yeah I think that's okay and we're going to need to jump straight under jump if zero copy to 14 yeah and we're going to need to jump back up to wait I'm missing something I need a bump plus, hold on. Let's put a bump plus in here of that because this jump has got to go above there. Jump, bump minus, copy from, outbox. Right, then we're going to need another bump of this one. If it's a zero, we're going to need to go all the way back up to here and start the whole process again. We're also going to need a normal jump if it isn't a zero and to put that to there. I think that's correct. Let's just step through. <coughs> so, <coughs> right, go to the inbox, copy it to the floor. Inbox, copy to floor. All this is doing where we bump it up is it's time to put it in the next slot on the floor, which saves us having to use three copy two commands. Makes things a little bit more efficient. Hmm. Now we're rearranging the sequence in reverse. No, we're not. Wait what's gone wrong no. no 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 wait 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 we're good we're good we're good because we're copying the next sequence yeah, yeah yeah we're laying it out on the floor yeah 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 ignore me I'm confusing myself yeah, there we go, and then we can just grab them and dump them all in the outbox in exactly the correct order, all in one go. Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. Hold up, hold up. That's the end of it, so now we should just go and start grabbing letters. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, where have I gone wrong? Um, right, bump up. 
going to go to the inbox. If it's a zero, we need to jump. Ah, hold on. If it's a zero, I need to jump like this. This jump's going to take me back above the bump. Yeah, that's good. Bump minus of whatever we've put in the 14. Yeah, 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 yeah. Need to copy from that one. We've got our outbox. We're going to bump minus. It looks okay. I think I just had the jump in the wrong place. Let's speed this one up. It's critical you get the jumps in exactly the right place because even stupid little mistake like that where it's just under by one square or over by one square messes the whole sequence up. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go, guys. Ignore my stupidity once again. I haven't had enough coffee this morning. And we owned it. See you in the next one.